today's activity, removing everything. So let's get rid of the carking stuff we've been using and pull out the panels on this side. Already done that one and take the bulkhead out. Uh, probably then going to remove this. So let's see what a time lapse looks like. So of all that. So, main problem with trying to get these panels off is they've got these really useful, um, I don't even know what to call them to be honest, but um, attachments that you can like use bungee cords and things like that really useful for the time that I haven't actually done anything with the van. Where they've attached them onto these uh, ply panels, you can sort of see the markings here, the places they put them are directly over the top of the fixings that are going then into the van, so my only option was to rip them all the hell off before I could actually get the sodding things off, which uh, was fun. <laughs> So, got all the side panels out. I'm leaving the doors because I just don't really want to mess with them right now. I can deal with that later. And um, I did take the one out on the sliding door because I plan to do stuff with that. But I uh, found it's got a vapour barrier already, which is cool. Um, so I've just got to remember to replace that after. Um, but it's still worth putting some insulation in there. Uh, what I can do though is start trying to pull off this hot light, um, this rubber matting off the ply. Um, so I'm going to want to raise the roof at some. Raise the roof? Woo woo! Um, I'm going to want to raise the floor up so I can put insulation underneath this. But I'd like it to be a bit nicer than this paint covered horribleness. Um, and obviously the van's pretty dirty as well in general because of all this paint uh, residue everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a stab at taking that off and I'll probably break it all in the process. I managed to get all the vinyl off the bottom. Um, obviously, watching the time lapse is a pain in the ass. Um, and it's revealed that underneath this is all sticky, but it's at least reasonably solid and not like worn and soggy and mouldy, which is really good. Um, there's only a minor bit in the corner next to uh, this wheel arch where there's a hole because they drilled through it pain in the ass and that sort of dribbled on here but it's not too bad so um, I'm probably going to leave pulling these up till later but what I'm going to try and do now is put on the in sound dampening pads so hopefully this is as simple as so let's see how that goes space fan space fan space fan <laughs> 